Welcome everyone to our tutorial about Space Control OSC in Window. So, Space Control is a mobile app that allows you to control the position of sounds in an intuitive way by just pointing your phone to the direction you want the sounds to come from, like a laser pointer. It can be used in Dolby Atmos workflows, allowing you to control objects as well as channel-based tracks. It does it by sending ADM positional metadata to a window over OSC protocol, which allows you to control the direction and the distance of sounds. Let me show you how to use it. The first step is to look for the IP address on the computer. To do that, go to System Preferences, then go to Network, and by selecting the connected network, you can find the IP address needed to input in the app. After looking for the IP address on the computer, enable Wi-Fi on your phone, then open Space Controller OSC app and go to Settings. Confirm that Windows 12 is the selected host. Then go to Connection section and type the IP address of the computer. The app port number is by default the same as the Windows OSC tracking port, but you can set another port if needed. Now in Window, I have this example project uh, with four tracks that I've assigned to Atmos objects. After this, I need to establish the connection between the Space Controller OSC app and Window. To do that, I go to Studio tab, then to OSC Object Position Tracking menu. Under Track Mapping section, I assign each track as a destination to OSC objects. Then I activate Object Position Tracking, and now I can control the position of these objects with the phone. Now in the app, the Set Front button is used to calibrate the position you want to use as a reference to the front direction or center speaker. We have also the section of Communication Links, which allows you to control specific tracks by switching between links. For instance, if I have Link 1 selected in the app, I can control the first track I've assigned as object destination. And if I have Link 2, I can control the second track and so on. Another way we have to reuse the links is to select the link zero, which will going to automatically control any selected track in window. Below the link section, I have the position display that shows me the azimut and elevation angles to where I am pointing the phone. When you want position sounds, you just need to touch on the app main button to send position information to the Windows multi-panel. If you go to settings menu, there's an option to choose between XYZ and AED coordinates. If I have XYZ selected, the app will send XYZ coordinates to control the sound's position. If AED is selected instead, the app will send AED coordinates to control sound's position. If you go to settings menu again, you can enable the distance virtual slider that will be available in the main button. In this option, you can choose the slider fill between a linear or a log scale. And when activated, will going to be displayed in the main button, where you can drag up and down to increase or decrease the distance from the center. You can activate the flip screen option in case you want to use a laser connected to the phone. Next, we have stable zero degrees elevation for steadier control over the vertical angle. Essentially, any changes between minus 25 and 25 degrees will keep the elevation of the sound source at zero degrees of elevation. Then you have the vibration option where you can enable vibration feedback when the phone points towards the speaker position of a 5.1 or 7.1 layouts. Last but not the least, we have the main button mode, which I can select between the hold and tap behaviors. And now let's check how this actually works. So here we have our guitar. I'm gonna start by moving it around. Okay, it finds a good spot. We're gonna start from here. Then I have my double bass. Okay. 
have the door bro. I hope you will now explore more creative possibilities with Space Controller OIC. Any feedback or suggestions, you can contact us at Sound Particles directly, or you can find us in the partners page of Steinberg. And thanks for watching and have a nice day.